Good evening, folks. You might be wondering, why do I have a review all of a sudden? It's been a while. It's been a few months since the last hookah review. I think the last one that we did was the Alpha Oro. But as I promised last week and earlier this week, I posted that the Japona Satori hookah review was going to be live today. And that's what we have for you here. Right in front of me, you can see that the entire hookah has been disassembled. Every piece individually unscrewed to make sure that we're going to show you what every little piece looks like, as well as what it looks like fully assembled. We'll pack a bowl, smoke it, see what the rumble sounds like, and just the overall feedback that I have regarding this pipe. It's been a very hyped pipe that we've been waiting for. Um, I've been hearing rumblings about this hookah since I've been speaking to folks from UK and other parts of the world. They've been saying that this is one of the best hookahs they've ever smoked. So naturally, you know, I had to get my hands on it to see what the hype was all about. So let's get into it. My favorite thing off the bat initially, love the tray. Amazing design. Um, very similar to the El Bomber Katana, but with the actual, you know, samurai design. Very nice, silver colored, well detailed, with a little gold swirl on top. My personal favorite part of the hookah is the samurai tray. Haven't really translated what the writing says yet. Maybe I should go do that and figure out what it actually says. But I believe it's something to do with dying with honor. Next up, we have the... I have the cherry red edition, so my sleeve is red cherry wood. Very well crafted, smooth, no scratch marks, no random nicks on it. The screws on by, by itself, Not a, it's not a separate piece you can detach. This is the whole, you know, half of the up stem really. So it's very important to keep very protected, keep it nice and clean. Very sleek design. I, you know, I love everything red. So, you know, naturally I had to get the cherry wood for myself. But they have it in black wood as well, uh, brown, I believe. And yeah, those are the three colors that the Satori comes in. So naturally, I obviously had to get the red cherry red. Next up, we have the down stem. This is what it looks like. Four lines in here to show different uh, water levels you can put up to, as well as notches for the diffuser to attach onto, which we'll get to a little later. Threads are very well built on it. Just overall, really great build quality this hookah has. Next up, we have the second part of the up stem. Um, what differentiates it between a Satoshi, which is the mini form of the hookah, and a Satori. So a Satoshi would only have just this part and the tray on top. But this two together is what make it a Satori, which is their mid-size pipe. Their full-size pipe is also called Sensei, where you have two of these as well as this part. Actually, no, it's just two of these to make a much taller tower-sized hookah. Uh, so they have all three sizes, small, medium, and large. We have the medium today. This is the up stem. Uh, this obviously comes off, but I did not take it off. Oops. But yeah, here you go. Top piece. Screws it in. I never feel the need to take it off because, well, the tray sits on top of it. So there really is never a reason to take it off. But you should do it here and there anyway, just to make sure there's no glycerin caked in. Next up, we have the heart. This is a very heavy heart. Um, I own a lot of hookahs. Over 10, 15 hookahs I have. A lot of the modern ones, a lot of the classic ones. This is by far the heaviest heart I have on any hookah. This thing is huge. Not by size, just by fear, sheer weight. I don't have a scale with me at the moment, but I can tell you this is definitely alone by itself over three pounds this thing is heavier than any bowl that i have it's i think it's might be individually piece the heaviest single piece of a hookah that i own um japona logo right there nice and etched in nothing too fancy about it very gen very general heart um bottom says japona now to get to the perch balls you need to actually unscrew these three little holes here I haven't had to do it yet, but uh, if at any point I need to, I, it looks like you need an Allen key to get the purge balls out, but so far I haven't had the need to do it. Next up, we have a ring. This ring actually sits right here. When you screw this ring together, this is what creates where the purge happens. So right there, in between this thin line right here, is where the smoke comes out of when you blow out of it. You'll see more of that in action when we put it together and actually smoke it. 
Lastly, we have the diffuser. Three levels. I know this is a different diffuser than what I've seen some of the classical pictures of the Japona Satori have. I guess this is their new diffuser. It's more of a slide-on diffuser rather than a screw-on. Um, three different levels. O-ring on the inside. Um, yeah, it just kind of clicks in. Down stem. Diffuser. I never put it above the maximum level, but yeah, that's how I like to keep it. Nothing complicated. Slides right in. Very simple. Um, yes. Let's put it together. Heart. Throw on the down stem. Next up, we have the up stem. Well, the middle stem, not really the up stem. Now, fun fact about this hookah, actually, if you are able to get your hands on the uh, individual parts of it, you can actually turn your Satori or whatever into the other versions, meaning the mid size can become the full size, the small one can become the mid one as well. But I don't know anybody that sells the parts individually, so unable to really get those, um, at least here in the US, they just sell the full pipes. I'll tell you guys at the end as well where you can grab these from, the price range, and uh, discount codes and things that you could use. There you go. All right. Now, slide the, here I'll show you how the tray sits on it. Just like that, just slide it in there. Now you can't see it this well from this angle, so let's throw this on a base and see what it looks like put together. Simultaneously, we will also pack a bowl, get that going as well. All right, hookah is assembled together. Base is on, bowl is on, coals are on. Doing a um, two on Knox with two coals on the Anmo. Doing my Cherry Red Bull Limeade Mix. Uh, one thing I did mention to, I mean, forgot to mention is the handle that it comes with. Comes with this very nice matching wood handle that matches your up stem as well, so very nice feeling you know grips right in your hands over there no issues very nice grip good weight to it very well build quality and yeah now let's smoke let's get some clouds and see what it's all about all right let's see what the hookah sounds like let's see how it smokes and let's talk about price points pros cons things of that nature so first thing let's get into the pros what's the pros of this hookah Aesthetically, I give this a solid 10 out of 10. It looks amazing, looks very sleek, minimalistic, very elegant. Personally, big fan of the looks of this hookah. Another con, the draw is right in the mid-range. Some people prefer very open, some people prefer restricted. This is right in the middle. middle. Think of Union Fibonacci, uh, geometry, around, along the lines of draws of that, those types of hookah. Con. Well, for me, a con is I prefer very open hookahs, so uh, this is more something my older brother smokes. He likes smoking this a lot. Um, I do like the hookah, but me personally, I prefer a more open draw. But you know, I'm not saying that that's a negative. And for that, is a lot for that, for a lot of people, is a positive. So if that's a positive for you, feel free. Um, cons, another thing, price. It's pretty high price. This I ran this for about three hundred and sixty U.S. dollars from World Hookah Market. Um, it's quite a pricey hookah, um, again, very unique purge, I haven't seen this kind of purge on any other hookahs yet, uh, purge is from right here as you've seen already. Um, outside of that, can't really think of any other cons, this is a very well built, excellent hookah, if you have the money for it, you're looking for something very sleek and elegant, you can't really go wrong with this. It comes in one box with everything, handle, up stems, pipe, everything. All you need is to get a base and slap it onto that. Um, not much else to discuss here. Tray design, very nice. Hookah design, very nice. Smokes well. Nice uh, mid, mid draw. You get a lot of the flavor from your clouds as well. And yeah, it's a very simple hookah, very easy to use. Not much science behind it. Not some over complicated thing you need to change to get the right type of smoke going. Just put it on the base and let it rip.
to mention, the host port is a plug-in type of port, meaning there's O-rings that support it. It's not magnetic. You don't have to worry about rust or oxidation forming. Very easy to use hookah and yeah, that's our review for today. Again, thank you for watching. Um, I'll have more reviews in the future for maybe future bowls, tobaccos that I'm working with. And yeah, here's some clouds just to close out the video. Once again guys, thank you for watching, till next time.